Hi guys, let's look at the last couple of questions of this chapter. Let's look at question number 17. As observed from the top of a 80 meter tall lighthouse, okay, as observed from the top of a 80 meter tall lighthouse, angle of depression of two ships on the same side of the lighthouse. Okay, so these are two ships which are on the same side of the lighthouse are 30 degree and 40 degree. Okay. So let me make the two ships. Okay, and this is 30 degree, the other one is 40 degree. So since we are referring to a angle of depression, let me make the imaginary horizontal here as well. Perfect. So this is parallel, this is 30 degree and the bigger angle is 40 degree. Perfect. So this is ship 1, this is ship 2. This angle is 30 degree and the ship which is closer to the uh, lighthouse is making an angle of 40 degree. Let's make the 90 degree angle as well. Let's name them A, B, C and D. Done. So let's see what all information we've got. It says from the top of a 80 meter tall lighthouse, done. Angle of depression on the same side, done. Find the distance between the two ships to the nearest meter. So let this distance between A and C be X and let the distance between C and D be Y. Perfect. So let's just write that down. Let AC is equal to X meter and CD is equal to Y meter. Done. Let's see what information I have in triangle. Let's look at the smaller triangle first, A, B, C. So if I look at tan 40, to de tan 40 degree, then I would end up getting AC in the denominator, which means I should look at the other angle. So in triangle A, B, C, 40 degree plus 90 degree plus angle A, B, C is equal to 180 degree, which means angle A, B, C is equal to 50 degree which means tan 50 degree so this is the angle that I'm referring to now this is 50 degree so tan 50 degree will be equal to AC upon AB now tan 50 degree as per your book is uh, 1.1918 so 1.1918 multiplied with AB which is 80 gives me AC. Let's multiply 11918 multiplied with 8. That's 8 into 8, 64. 8 into 1, 8 plus 6, 14. 72 plus 1, 73. 8 plus 7, 15. And 8 and 1, 9. So 9, 5, 3, 4, 4. How many digits? Decimals? 4. 1 gone because of 0. So that's 3. So 95, therefore, AC is equal to 95.344 meter. Now, let me just erase this uh, calculation so that I have space to do the work. Next. Next, let's look at the bigger triangle, which is in triangle, in triangle ABD. Again, if I refer to 30 degree, I will have X plus Y in the denominator, or I can tan 30 degrees a 1 upon root 3, so I can still live with it. So tan 30 degree would be equal to AB upon AD. Tan 30 degree is 1 upon root 3, which is equal to AB, which is 80, and AD, which is X plus Y. Now X plus Y would be equal to 80 root 3. Let's multiply 1.732 multiplied with 8. So that's 8 into 2, 16, 24 plus 1, 25, 56 plus 2, 58, that's 8 plus 5, 13. How many decimals? 3, which means 2. So 138.56. Therefore, x plus y is equal to 138.56 meter. We need to calculate the distance between them, which means we need to calculate y, which means y is equal to 138.56 minus AC, which is X, which is 95.344. Therefore, Y is equal to, let's subtract 95.344. 
that's 10 minus 4, 6, 5 minus 4, 1, 5 minus 3, 2, that's 8 minus 5, 3, 13 minus 9, 4. So 43.216. That's the distance between these two ships. They want the answer to the nearest meter. Therefore, let's just write the answer. Therefore, distance between ships is rounding it off to nearest meter would be 43 meter. That's the final answer. Good. Let's look at the next question. The next question that we do is question number 20. I'll come, I'll do one more question, which is question number 19, but that's the last question I'll do in this chapter. Let's look at question number 20. So question number 20 says, horizontal distance between two towers is 120 meter. Angle of elevation, okay, so the two towers which are, so rough diagram, this is 120 meter. Perfect, angle of elevation of the top and angle of depression of the bottom of the first tower as observed from the second tower is 30 degree. Oh, the second tower is shorter because you can see the top of the first tower. Perfect, I've got my rough diagram. Let's just draw it now. Okay, so there is one tower which is taller and they are standing on the same horizontal ground and this is the second tower which is shorter. Good, so the distance between them is 120 meter. Done. Angle of elevation of the top of the first tower as observed from the top of the second tower. Okay, so this is the angle of elevation. I will have to draw a horizontal here as well. So this is the angle of elevation of this. So this is my first tower. This is my second tower. Let's name this A, B. Let's name this C, B. And this would be E. Done. So angle of elevation of the top is 30 degree. Done. And angle of depression of the bottom of the first tower. Okay, so angle of depression as seen from the top of the second tower. So the angle of depression is given equal to 24 degree, which means this angle is 24 degree. Done. I've got my basic diagram correct. Find the height of the two towers up to three significant figures. So I need to find the length of CD and I need to find the length of AB. So let CD be equal to X. Therefore, BE is also equal to X. Let AE be equal to Y. Done. Basic assumptions done. Let's start. Let uh, CD is equal to BE is equal to X and AE is equal to Y. Uh, given in meters, so let's take the unit as meter. So this basic part of the diagram done. Now we'll apply some trigonometrical ratios and the key part in this question would be three significant figures. I would remind you and I would request you to revise significant figures individually as well. Good. So in triangle uh, AEC, I have tan 30 degree would be equal to AE upon CE. And CE is equal to, so let's just write that down, CE is equal to BD is equal to 120 meter. So this length is 120 meter. Done. So tan 30 degree is 1 upon root 3. So 1 upon root 3 is equal to AE, which is Y, upon CE, which is 120, which means Y is equal to 120 upon root 3. Let's uh, rationalize it upon root 3 into root 3. So this is 120 root 3 upon 3, that's 3, 1, 3, 40. So Y is equal to 40 root 3. So 1, 7, 3, 2 multiplied with 4. That's 8, 12, 28 plus 129. That's 4, 1 and 2, 6. 6, 9, 2, 8. Let's check this again. 4, 3, 4, 4 2, 8, 4, 3, 12, 28, 129. 6.928. And this is 40, which means 69.28. Therefore, Y is equal to 69.28 meter. Done. We, this is nothing. This is just the value of some part of the first tower. We still need to calculate x, which will help us get 
both the height of the first tower, uh, second tower as well as if I add y to it, I'll get the height of the first tower. So let's look at the second triangle. So in triangle A, not A, in triangle CBE, which is this triangle. So in triangle CBE, what do I have? Tan 24 degree would be equal to perpendicular, which in this case is PE upon base in this case CE. Tan 24 degree as per your book is 0 0.4452, which is equal to BE, which is X upon CE, which is 120, which means I've got the value of X as well. 120 multiplied with 0 0.4452. Let's multiply 4452 multiplied with 12. That's 4, that's 2 into 5, 10, 8 plus 1, 9, that's 8. Next, 2, 5, 4, 4. This is 4, 2, 9 plus 5, 14, 12 plus 1, 13, that's 5, 3, 4, 2, 4. Uh, how many decimals? 4, 1 gone, that's 3. So this is 53.424. Therefore, x is equal to 53.424 meter. Now, let's go back to the question. It says up to three significant figures. Therefore, height of second tower is equal to 53.4 meter. These are three significant figures. Next, height of tower one will be equal to x plus y, in this case 53.424 and we had 69.28. That's 4, 8 plus 2, 10, 4, 2, 6 and 1, 7, 9 plus 3, 12, that's 11 plus 1, 12. Let's just check, 9, 3, 12, 11 plus 1, 12, so that's 12, so 122.7. So, is equal to 122.704 meter. They want it in three significant figures, which means this is the last figure that I'll have. I'll round it off. It is equal to 123 meter. Done. That finishes this question for me. Interesting question. The only thing interesting about this was converting it into a rough diagram. That brings me to the last question of this chapter, which is question number 19. Now let's re read the question and see what do we get. An uh, aeroplane with an altitude of 250 meter observed the angle of depression of two boats on the opposite side of a river to be 45 and 60. We need to find the width of the river. Now I've had uh, several discussions with several students over the years on this question. This question appeared in your board exam as well. Now, the location of this uh, airplane is not given. Let's say if the airplane is flying above the river. So, let's say this is the imaginary horizontal that I make and this is the airplane. And it observes uh, the angle of depression of two boats which are on the, the either sides opposite banks of a river so this is my river this is bank one this is bank two opposite sides of the river and we observe that one angle is 60 degree and the other angle is 45 degree done oh, but not this angle the angle of depression so i shouldn't be making it like this completely wrong. So let me first make the angle of depression. This is 60 degree. This is 45 degree. Now make a parallel line. So now this is 60 degree and this is 45 degree. Done. We need to find the width of the uh, river. Let the river be A, B. Let this point which is the airplane be point C. Next, it is an altitude of 250 meter. So let me draw the perpendicular and this is the altitude and this is 250 meter. So ABC1, let this be B. That, so I need to calculate AB which will basically be equal to length of AD plus length of BD. 
Yes? Yes, it will be. Now I have two triangles. Now the question is very simple. Let's solve this question. So in triangle BCD, tan 45 degree would be equal to CD upon BD. So tan 45 degree is 1, which means CD is equal to BD, which means BD is equal to 250 meter. Done. This is 250 meter. So this part was simple. Now let's look at the second triangle. In triangle ADC, tan of 60 degree would be equal to CD upon AD. Now, tan 60 degree is root 3, which means uh, root 3 is equal to 250 upon AD, which is X which means x is equal to 250 upon root 3. Let's uh, multiply. So this would be uh, multiply in the form of rationalize. So it will be 250 root 3 upon 3. So we will have to do the calculation. 1732 multiplied with 25. So that's 5 into 2, 10. 15 plus 1, 16. 35 plus 1, 36. 5 plus 3, 8. That's 4, 6, 2 into 7, 14, 2 into 1, 2 plus 1, 3. So this is 0, 10, 12 plus 1, 13, 9 plus 4, 13. That's 4, 3, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. And how many decimals? 3, 1 goes, which means 433. Therefore, x is equal to 433 upon 3 meter. Let's divide 433 upon 3 would be 3, 1, 3, 1. That's 13, that's 4, 12, 13, that's again 4, 13, and that's not 13, 12, that's 10, so this is 3. So therefore, x is equal to, ad is equal to 144.3 bar meter. We need to calculate it to the nearest whole number, so therefore, ab is equal to ad plus bd, which is, 250 plus 144 meter. This would get rounded off to 144. Therefore, uh, width of river is equal to 250 plus 144, that 394 meter. So, width of the river is 394 meter. Wonderful. So, uh, that finishes this question for me. But there is a second uh, way of solving this question because uh, uh, the location of the airplane is not given. So let's read this question once again and see if this question can be solved in another way and let's figure out which would be a better answer. Uh, let's read this question. An aeroplane with an altitude of 250 meters. So let me say this is the oh, wrong diagram. This is the line that I wanted. So this is my altitude of the uh, aeroplane. And I have this, the aeroplane is flying on, is on one side of the river. Which side doesn't matter, but it's on one side of the river. And let's say uh, this is the first one side of the uh, river and let's say this is the second side of the river because the location of the aircraft is not given so if this is the river and this is one bank of the river this is the second bank of the river now let's name it a b c and d the first one which is closer to it would be 60 oh, again i'm making that mistake this is angle of depression so angle of depression. So the bigger angle is 60 degree, the smaller angle is 45 degree, this is 45 degree, this angle is 60 degree. This is 250 meter. Done. We'll do the same thing again. In this case, I will do tan 45 degree would be equal to 250 upon AD. In this case, AD would be equal to 250 meter. So this whole thing is 250 meter. 
next uh, we'll do tan 60 so tan 60 degree would be equal to ab or in this case 250 upon ac uh, we'll do the same calculation and we'll get the same answer so ac would be equal to 144.33 meter same answer we'll get so this is 144.33 meter what we need to calculate is cd so how do i calculate it 250 minus 144 so therefore cd would be equal to 250 minus 144.33 and the answer would be 394 meter so first one when we did we got the answer as 394 we'll get the answer as 106 my mistake what am i doing 250 minus 144 would be 106 meter what am i doing the answer to the first one was 394 meter right so the first one was 394 the second one is 106 the only thing difference is because in the question the position of the airplane is not given this diagram assumes that the plane is flying above the river this diagram assumes that the plane is flying on one side of the river and it is looking at the two opposite ends of the or two opposite banks of the river uh, i will leave this answer here you figure out which one makes more sense to you um, if you do your answer properly in case you get a vague question like this if you've done your question properly you will get full marks so take care be safe i'll see you with the next chapter bye bye